to tonight's Tuesday Night Podcast. I'm here with John Masoni here with Coach Peacock, John Peacock from the Venice Indians. And Coach, uh, big game Friday night. We were, we were sort of, you know, we knew that we were going to get tested. We were a very seasoned uh, team, that's, team that had been around the playoffs and winning state championships over the last couple of years. And in Miami, Christopher Columbus, and 35-7 was the final score. Indians, once again, running clocked uh, their fourth time in a row in the playoffs and uh, a big victory at, at Venice High School's Powell State. Yeah, like we talked about in the coaches, school, uh, coaches show, uh, D-line played unbelievable. Uh, offense, uh, the running backs were great. The offensive line was great. Uh, Ryan Brown made some great throws. Uh, Jay Sean Platt, again, another big night, some big catches. Amari Hayes yeah. kind of did it all. Had a, Didn't really have a whole lot of catches this game that, that he, I think, broke he, I think he probably touched the ball with 12, 14 times, yeah. including special but not, teams. Yeah, but not a, didn't really break out. Did most of his damage in the run game, um, You know, especially to open up the, the game. with a, We were in our, our new type of jumbo package, and he was able to – have a, had a great run, broke two or three tackles, mm-hmm. spun yeah. off, scored, um, and then the next drive, uh, DJ Escort had one of the best runs of the year. Um, you know, running over some folks on his way to the end zone. And uh, one thing that was really, really cool about that play is just the excitement of our players and just how happy everyone was just to score. Not, and it wasn't an a individual separate celebration. It was really cool. Um, and I know, I know as from from experience. Being on the other side, when you see a team do that, when you see a team that's all in, like, man, we're here together, we just scored, it it is it is a little bit demoralizing. Like, dang, those guys are excited. They're all like, about it. They're all, yeah. about, they're all about the team. They're about their, their win. And, again, it, it's, it's one of those things that, you again, you see this sort of galvanization of, of the team. Um, we talked about the defense. Talked about the, but everybody is sort of contributing in some way. Special teams play where, the, where the, a good punt, again, directional punt, hits the kid Great from, punt. Right, in, yeah. in, the, in the leg. And there's Sage Uzi, who's the starting safety, on special teams making a play. Um, you see John Anthony, uh, you know, in a situation where he, he jump and block in a field goal. Um, all, all these guys that are making plays, and even, even in regards to, like we talked about, the statistics of the game, which obviously we win. So that's the best part about it. But you're watching five guys contribute on the, in the running game. Four guys in the passing game. Omari throws a pass on a, on, the, on a Philly special that you dialed up yep. in honor of Trey Burton. Um, but those all those things are kind of happening, and, and you're looking and you say, okay, well, if you if you had if you had to pick a player of the game or that you were forced to do something, I don't think you could because everybody there was contributions from so many different people. Well, yeah, you look at the running back stats. Yeah. Um, uh, I think well, so, Gator had the most yards, yeah, right? So, so Gator had a 111. Uh, uh, DJ had 99. Uh, Ryan, Let's give him 100. Yeah. So 100, DJ had 100. 100. Yeah. Uh, but then Alvin had 60. S- yeah, like 60, 68 and then, then or something. Amari had three touchdowns, but he, he only had maybe, maybe uh, 25, 30 yards. Oh, that was it? Yeah, because he, he had a couple backwards plays that kind of went against him a little bit. But again, this, even with that being the case, and then Ryan had positive yardage rushing the ball too with a touchdown run as well. So you look at across the board, and, it, and, and everybody, what they did was what they do well. Right. Amari's the Amari's the you know the Swiss Army knife. He can do whatever you want. Ryan runs when he, when he needs to and makes plays when he needs to. Um, you know DJ is that guy making that that that's, right. that run. And then the other two guys are the same. They just do a different style, but they're all doing it. So that's what you love to see. Jay Sean second so, second hundred yard rushing performance by a freshman. Two out of four playoff games absolutely. at hundred yards. Absolutely, pretty again, impressive. And with, again, limited, with limited you know how many carries did he have? Like ten, maybe a ten or eleven. Is but probably yeah, it was eleven. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. But he but he had like but he ran the ball like seven plays in a row at the end, at the end of the game. He, he was he was running every time he got the every time he got in. Yeah. He was running. So, so. then you you look at he had eleven eleven for one hundred and thirteen. You said. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then the, then his game he started he had thirteen for one eighty or something like that. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. That's really good. That's yeah. fantastic. And again, all that stuff and then the whole line has been consistently good all year. Um, you've got they've got them making, making blocking and doing well. Austin Bray back in the lineup again. The last two games, there's a, a positive thing there. But again, on the defense, the same way. I mean, Damon had a fantastic game. The last two games for Damon Wilson have been man. He's really, really he's good. really um, he's really cranked it up in the playoffs. I think I think not just these last two weeks, but I think you know you go all the way back to just the start of the playoffs. He's he's really cranked it up a little bit. And 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 you said going into the game. 
how how disciplined and how well coached uh, Columbus was going to be. And they were. They, were. Yeah. they absolutely were. I mean, you could, you could see there were moments in the game where one little thing kind of goes wrong, a, a, a call doesn't go your way, whatever it could be, could have turned the tide and made that a much closer football game. Right. Because you, you get, they, they, you know, we get the momentum and we, we, we run with it. They didn't get the same momentum type of plays in, in, for them as well. But you saw across the line, their D line was real good. Their O line was good. They had, they had more athletes than I, than I, not that I didn't expect it, but there was guys that, that were that were out there. I was like, wow, that, they they were guys that you had to be a little nervous with when. when yeah, they had I was. Their, um, their their DBs were a little bit better than I thought. You know, they um, they could run really well. You know, all their all their DBs were. Um, you know they were they were one du- kids that were like one double A offers, but they were they could play, mm-hmm. um, yeah for you're sure. Right. So you know, the, and their offensive line was, um, I thought their offensive line was a very good looking offensive line. Um, it looked very similar to us. Like we're not uh, when we look at us, you don't look at us. Oh, that guy's three hundred thirty pounds, right, big fat guy. Like, yeah, yeah. We don't have any. Right. We don't have any fat guys. You know, we, we have pretty good. You know, our guys are pretty good in shape. Um, you know, and they're thin. I mean, look at Riley Cleary and. MG. I mean, those are those but are pretty thin their, guys. But if you look at their 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 measurables, yeah, they're they're they're, th- they're thick guys, but they're just not the you know right. the, the, the bulky. Right. Guys. They're 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 athletic guys, and uh, it just you just tell that it's it's. I think one thing. With that said, I think it's hard to survive in our program if you're a yeah if you're real 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 fat real doesn't, heavy doesn't work no. yeah so um, tend to not be if you are if you are a big chunky guy you tend to lose that. <laughs> And if you don't lose it, you, you tend to not be with us very long. <laughs> One right, or right. But, you, but then, if you're right. But even with that, you, there's, uh, there's plenty of guys that, that, that can, they can carry it and, and still and, and, and carry the weight and be muscular and fit at the same time. I think yeah. that's what it comes down to. But, again, 35-7 was the final score. And, um, again, you know, a, a total team effort. Had to be pleased with that. And then we move forward now, um, getting an opportunity to play in the state finals again, against this time against the Apop- Popka. Blue Darters and Apopka, you and I know, following f- high school football, and uh, a lot of people out there know as well that Apopka has been a perennial power off of, for a good portion of the last 20 years. Yeah, you know, started with uh, Rick Darlington, um, who was one of the coaches that I have a tremendous, a tremendous amount of respect for. Um, the, actually, you know, one of the guys that I, I, I steal stuff from, you know, coaching is, is wasn't just invented, football right. wasn't just invented. This year, I, you know, I've, I've stolen a lot of stuff from him. Um, there's a there's another coach, and um, you know, there's there's a there's a list full of coaches that I have a tremendous amount of respect. You know, Coach Command, Coach Meckley, um, Coach Darlington, for one, um, and then uh, Randy Jackson out of Texas, the team team we played, um, Plano East. Okay. Um, I've stolen a lot of stuff from him, um, particularly our, our tempo offense. Yeah. Right. <laughs> After. Yeah. Talk when your old when your players went to pl- played against Plano and he's like, that's where the, that's where we first saw the tempo. Yeah. I said, yeah, that was the first time we saw the tempo. And we we were able we were lucky enough to defeat it, but it got us, yeah. and it, it was it was evident like, whoa, this might be something we need to look into, because um, that was the game we ran. Um, we were still under center. And we ran inside ISO thirty six times in a row, <laughs> and, it and we let it and we let the <laughs> clock go, and, we, and yeah. it worked, and it worked. Um, yeah, I remember. That. I forget. It might have been. Was it I think they had the, that there was like there was guys that were like Terry get me out of, get out, oh, get, oh, the, oh, the defense guys. Yeah, yeah, get yeah, me out yeah. Of the game. Yeah. yeah, after like five plays, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> and they were done for the night. Yeah, it was like I can't go anything. Because yeah. it was just you know the, the 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 speed and the how fast they went was just unbelievable. And uh, you know that's one thing that we got from them. I got a lot of offseason stuff for him, but um, but back to what we're saying. You know, Apopka was, you know. It started with Rick Darlington, and now the coaches underneath him have taken that program over, and they probably still do all the stuff that he's installed. So that that so that me that tells me that they're going to be a really tough team that's been worked. Um, they're definitely not going to quit. They're going to have a lot of fight in them. Um, so you know we're definitely going to have our hands full for sure. One thing we didn't talk about on the coaches show, we'll talk about now, is the, is the week off. So from both sides of the ball. Um, or both, both both teams, I should say. You get an extra week of sort of film study, you know, tweak a few things, whatever it may be, yep. um, which doesn't happen too often. It's like a bye week. You know, it yep. happens once a, once a year. When we get, a, we get an extra week of reading our clippings and <laughs> get everybody patting us on the back. Well, and it, it, that, is, that, is, that is one thing I can say. So, so not just from, from a, the, the focus of the, on the, of the game planning, 
what the focus of the of the noise in the room was saying. Yeah. Because you have a lot of people talking about We've talked about that a lot. Like let's 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 save all the pats in the backs and that boys and congratulations because you haven't done anything yet. Because even after tonight, we're done talking about what happened last week. Yeah, I mean that's it. I mean, you know, you know, bottom about. line is, if you don't win this one, you're just like everybody else. You're, the, you're just one of many. You just you're just the first loser. Right. You, know, the, you know, it's not. I mean, you're no different than the team last year. You're no different than the team. Mm -hmm. The and you're no different from 2018, 19, or 20. Right. You know, the only way you're going to be different and be like 2017 is we win this you one. Got to write your own story. It's not going to be a little yeah. star like, hey, we made it there. <laughs> it's no. not about making it here. Yeah, and I, and that's the truth. And like I said, so that's that's the thing that you again, you, it's right. You have to focus. And but even like you said, it's hard to do it. Uh, shoot, we're here at Joey D's and. I've had two questions asked me about certain things and how things are going, and just you just you know that the town's excited, people are excited, so you have to kind of temper that and kind of make sure that everybody is sort of is focused. And I mean, everybody's still in school, which is good too. I think that's got to be a positive. You don't you know you know you're right after right. the game, so there's there's things to be done academically. You got to take care of that, and that's another. Can people positive. message in and ask questions right now? I told everybody I'm not answering any dumb questions until Tuesday night on the podcast. So if anyone has any questions. They can, they can do it, and I'll answer them now. It doesn't matter who or what. Yeah, I don't even want to say your name. Just whatever questions you have. I've got. <laughs> I've been getting plenty of them um, this this week. Yeah, good. Yeah, so that's so. perfect for this. Obviously, we uh, love to hear from anybody out there in uh, in podcast land. So we appreciate you guys. If you do have a question, go ahead and uh, knock it out. We'll see if we yeah. can answer something for you. Uh, going back to Popka, though, um, you mentioned that the coaches uh, there now. Um, obviously, there's Rick Darlington passed on. His knowledge, or he was there, and these guys are taking over. So, you know that uh, again, they're they're going to be a, a very well prepared team, and they bring they bring something different with that with that uh, wing the wing tee, single wing, single wing, yeah. single wing. a little different. Yeah. Wing tees, there's a quarterback, yeah. and it's yeah. based off buck sweep and all that stuff. Single wing is no quarterback, everyone's a quarterback, and um, it's just it's mad madness. And uh, uh, they played actually. The team they just played, Treasure Coast, is 100% on board, single wing. That's what they do. That's it. That's all they do. Um, a pop is a little different. They're, they're, they switch back and forth. They go spread, single wing, and they kind of go back and forth on what they're doing. I think it's based off of, hey, what's working? This is working. This is not, and if it's not working, we'll do this. If this is not working, we'll do this. Um, so hopefully... Uh, None of their stuff is working, and maybe maybe they do run yeah. the wing tee. But then you but, got but then you got that you know you got to be on your got to, on your toes when you're a defense. You got to yeah know for coming. sure yeah. yeah for sure and um, and the it's basically you know when I think of of you know the toughness and the, you know of Rick, what Rick Tar Darlington brought is like that's the perfect <laughs> offense. Like we're going to run the ball every play, and we're going to try to get as many people there when we're running it and try to. Just, just sort basically take your will. Sort of what the Patriots did last night against the Buffalo Bills. <laughs> almost, was, almost, not, like not that. enough line, not enough linemen. There was a quarterback in the game, so you got to right. get rid of the quarterback, up, yeah. and you just snap it to the running back, and then we're then now we're talking. So and you can see, I mean, it doesn't always the most people. It's like, well, how could it be? It's successful when you do it right. Oh, it's there's hard no to doubt. Stop. It's very hard, and they and you know they don't do a whole lot, but it, it's it's if, it, if you get it going, it's like almost unstoppable. But I'll tell you this. Um, one team that we were like really not not wanting to play was uh, Treasure Coast because I mean they got their their linemen their linemen were huge they did, it seemed like they were just steamrolling through everybody in the state of Florida with their that single wing stuff um, and they're 100 percent on board and they, they do a really nice job of it with talented with talented running backs as well. real talented yeah. running backs and uh, Paka shut them down three first downs um, 20 20 or something, 24, 26 total yards. Uh, I mean, that's very that's, similar to what we we did impressive. against Columbus. You yeah. know, so you know, it's we're going to have two good defenses going up Friday night, um, and I, I guess you know points will be at a premium. I th yeah. I'm thinking. I, uh, I agree. I agree because yeah. I think I think they're gonna, like I said, a, the disciplined team is usually has a different disciplined coaching staff, so I don't think they're going to go off point. If, if you know one way, right. they're going to they're going to stay with their game plan. I would I would imagine they've they've they've, they've, they've it's worked for them to this point, and they've played. I, I, I think the game against Treasure Coast was probably their most lopsided game in the playoffs. I'm not. I'm, I'm well, the well, the week before was overtime. Overtime, one point. That was that was West Orange, and before that was 
Oh, we'll have to look. We'll have to look. I'll yeah, pull but it I know, up. but I know they've again they've 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 kept it. You know, they've they've had some good games, but they, I mean, they've had they've been tested. And again, to go out and, and to face the team that you guys felt was going to be. A, a very very tough opponent, if, if possible, to do what they did is, is well. I kind of felt before the game like I don't, you know, a pop is going to win this one. Um, but you know, going into the playoffs, where, where they had beat American Heritage and and they scored 54 on Coco, and you know, so I was just like, Ugh. you know, because that's you, you know, I always look back to to, oh, to 2009 with uh, facing the Wing T and, and St. Pete, where they kind of just four yards, four yards, and just kind of just Crowned it up. methodically beat us and kept us off the field. And it was just such a, a, a horrible feeling. And, um, you know, that's, I, I, I just, I brought that old, back, back old memories. <laughs> Get a chill. You yeah. think about that stuff. But so again, but again, Pop, Pop Blue Daughters. And just to make sure, you said Friday night, but it's actually going to be next Saturday yeah, afternoon. Saturday yeah, Saturday night. Yeah, Saturday afternoon. One, at 1 p.m. Um, details in regards to a lot of things were coming out day after day, but we do know one thing, that the tickets are on sale at Ticketmaster. Uh, we mentioned that you're going to do something that you can follow on Twitter. Is that where you can go to? You can get the link to the Ticketmaster? Yeah, you can, you can go to my my Twitter has it, John underscore P34, or you can go to uh, the Venice Football Twitter, which is VH Chess Football, I think, maybe. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what it is. Our Facebook page uh, and, and will then, have all the links. And then I did mention also to so somebody else earlier that you can also go on the FHSAA.com site. Yeah. And they have a link yep. there where you can go to the football page. I believe it's a, it could be on the very front page of their, of their home page. But you go there and it'll say buy tickets for the game and then you do that and it should be pretty easy to kind of navigate. Yeah, let's try, to, let's try to get that thing packed. Uh, many, let's, get, let's get our whole town there and cheering us on. And they'll probably have the tickets be electronic. Uh, through Ticketmaster yeah. as well, so then you're not actually have to get a, a, a ticket in your hand. It'll be on your phone. You put it in a, a in, in a wallet, or you save it to your phone, and you can go ahead and do that. For, so it's pretty simple, but uh, be be ready to go. Uh, the stadium itself, not to you know, but it's it's a little smaller venue than we've usually pl that they've played in the state championship games before. Much smaller. So it's going to be more intimate. Um, not that you're going to run out of seats. I'd be very surprised if there weren't. You know, it's 18,000. It would be a no. one heck of a turnout, which I, I wouldn't surprise me, but I don't think it will be that way. But get them now while you can. Why, why fuss with it next week? If you know you're going to go, just get them now and get it, get it ready to go, yeah. and then you're, and you're prepared uh, to get down there. And again, the drive is not a terribly long drive from Venice. I mean, it's possible it could run out. I mean, you get you get, no, t you get ten thousand from Apaca, ten thousand from Venice. So you're two thousand people left out. And so, like I said, if if, if that's why I say get it done now. So don't even, don't even take the risk. Just go ahead and take care of, the, of your business now and get it all done, and you'll be ready to go. And then uh, again, we'll, we'll we'll know more about potentially having some fan buses, and some other things. Where kind of, things are kind of in the works, but it's early we yet, are so we are getting fan buses. Just uh, who's in charge of it, though, right? Is that what we're doing now? Colin Atkins' mother, I think, is going to be doing the fan okay. buses. Okay. Um, I haven't gotten information of what how she's setting it up but I think I think she's going to get that set up for us and so um, and then the social media will have all the information yes, on that as well yes. so, so look look for that coming out soon thanks so that's again so that's something to look forward to and again it's not this Saturday it's next Saturday so everybody make sure they know that when we're, we're doing this it's a, it's a, on the 18th of December 1 p.m. start with the afternoon session and then so uh, I think we talked about a little bit about that, how that's a little bit of a different you know deal for us to be Early, an early game like that, but uh, I think with the lead up to the game and, and you know being down there a little earlier, whatever we may do, um, probably help us with, with that preparation part of side yep. of it. So, you, so yeah, get your stuff now. We're we're ready to go, and uh, and again, hopefully, we're uh, everything works out the way we, we want it to work out as always. With that, we'll take our first break, or our only break, I should say, uh, halftime break here on the podcast. Come back and maybe have some questions for us, and if not, we'll keep on jibber jabbering here, me and John. So. Be back here in a few minutes. Absolute Aluminum is proud to introduce our new 7-inch seamless gutter system. Standard gutters are too narrow to handle heavy Florida rain. This overflow can cause streaks and stains on your gutter and home. Plus, wash out your landscaping. Our new wider 7-inch gutter system will keep everything looking clean and beautiful. And with our professional installation, your new gutters will go up fast and last. So call now to increase your home's curb appeal with our new 7-inch gutters from Absolute Aluminum.
Absolute Aluminum is proud to introduce our new 7-inch seamless gutter system. Standard gutters are too narrow to handle heavy Florida rain. This overflow can cause streaks and stains on your gutter and home. Plus, wash out your landscaping. Our new, wider 7-inch gutter system will keep everything looking clean and beautiful. And with our professional installation, your new gutters will go up fast and last. So call now to increase your home's curb appeal with our new 7-inch gutters from Absolute Aluminum. And welcome back to Joey D's and our Tuesday night podcast. And again, thank you to Joey D's uh, all year hosting us here for the podcast, our coaches show, our pregame show, and then a couple of nights. So Friday nights we had, we've had some very good turnouts in uh, regards to some some things to celebrate, some things to just get to know everybody. And I think it's been a, for, for I think a lot of times um, parents, family members, whatever it may be, they're all in the stands, they're all doing their thing. I think it's, it kind of closes down the group a little bit. And I think they like the fact that they kind of, feel part of it in some way you know they're very yeah. much about yeah, that yeah for so. sure and uh i think a lot of people probably walked in here for the first time yeah and said wow that's pretty cool and, that, and that's what well, that's a lot of it because you can see like all of a sudden it's like i didn't know and then all of a sudden for for, for the joey d guys it's kind of cool because you get people walking in and enjoying their food and enjoying the ambiance and uh seeing how they support the team so that's a triple header right there yeah. got, you, we can get you there and you can you're supporting us it's good to have that 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 pop when you do the right thing and get right. the food cut out and Good, good drinks and the whole other deal. Uh, with that, you know, we've talked a lot about the players this year, with the, and rightfully so. They are the they're the they're the people we want to focus a lot of it on. But your coaching staff um, over the years, you know, uh, you've had a solid core group of guys, and you've added some 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 folks here and there, maybe a few subtractions here and there for whatever reasons. But um, talk a little bit about you know the what that what it means to you in particular to have that 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 coaching staff. Um, uh, underneath you, and how how well how much you trust and what and what they're doing for you. Yeah, you know, um, you know, some in some cases it's really good, and in some cases it's it's bad. And, I, and let me explain that. And so, <laughs> if if for instance we get a new coach that comes on board, um, and then you're coming on board to a staff that's been together since you know for the last 14 years, 14, 15 years, and they they know exactly what the calendar is and what's going to happen and how we're going to practice and what time we're going to practice. And uh, and when you get somebody new to come on, you know, I'm like, dang, I forgot to tell them. Like, <laughs> you know, this is what time we'll be practicing on, on Labor Day. Right. You know, right. But everyone else already knows. Everybody like, knows, oh, right. we're, we're going to practice, practice at 8 o'clock on Labor Day, right. 8 a.m. And, uh, and then so I, you, sometimes you get questions of like, Coach, what are we doing here? I'm like, I want to say, you know, same thing we've been doing the last 15 years, but, you know, but they don't know, you know, so, um, so that's, you know, that's one thing that, uh, that makes it a bad thing, not a bad thing, but right. it's kind of like throws me for a loop because I don't, I don't do a great job of like holding hands and like, Hey, this is what you're supposed to be doing. And this is what we're going to do. Like, and I'm like, Oh, we're, oh, we're meeting this Saturday. Like, yeah. Yeah. You know, like, you know, like, so it's things like that. That's, that's not a, that's something I probably got to get better at, but, um, but you know what? This is not on the positive part. Yeah, go ahead. It, it's that's unbelievable. Like I don't, I don't have any. Um, you know, I don't worry about what they're doing in the defensive room. Um, and if 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 I do worry or have any questions, like it's it's real transparent and mm -hmm. sure. Hey, this is what we're doing. What do you think? And um, you know, we all work together and. Um, you know, it's all one team, and it's all, you know, we're all there for the, you know, the, for the common goal. And, right. Um, you know, it's it's just I think it's really it's a really positive positive environment um, with everybody, and I think everybody has their part, knows their role. I think uh, that, and everybody uh, is doing their part and doing their role. And I think with the kids, I think it's, you know, if you're coming as a freshman and um, you're dealing with the same folks for four years. Like, I think that's huge. I, I think it's huge and the message, professional. The message is, is consistent. Yeah, I you think you don't go yeah. from one thing to another philosophy. This this person's. It's just it just goes up the up the chain. And, and you're, you're right. I mean, and the reason I even bring this up is because obviously um, this situation is a travel situation. Uh, I would almost consider it like one of our trips to, to Texas or right. our trip to Virginia, whatever, maybe because it's got a little bit of that feel to it. And um, you're absolutely right. You see, you, you, it, everybody 
including the kids at this point, especially the, the, the kids that have been there for three years or whatever on the varsity, it's a very sort of, um, I was, I t- how it's, it's not choreographed, it's just how well it's, it's, it, it, it runs. Um, everybody's on time. Everybody, know, everybody kind of knows their role. Nobody has to be shepherded one way or the other. And they all know where they're, where they're headed to, which is great. I mean, there's nobody, yep. nobody has to say like, hey, uh, can you make sure you get here? Can you do this? Or where well, you're I think, headed? Or I think, it may I, mean, be. I mean, even, you know, we're, we're just talking about the varsity level. But uh, if you look at our, our lower levels, like our freshman staff, they've been together for, I don't know, six. Easily. Some have been there for as long as you have. Maybe, yeah, maybe no, at least I would say six years. Yeah, six years, and then our JV staff. Um, we got a few new faces this year because um, Beckett had to take a different job. But you brought in guys that were back from the, yeah, from Wayne the day. Skelton, yeah. who was originally with me, um, came back. But they're they're all they all have the same belief system systems. You know, Coach Schwartz and his staff are are huge on dis- discipline and mm-hmm. doing things right and coach skelton is like a maniac when as far as that goes like right, right. you know he's got ocd uh, like i have ocd <laughs> and i think that's a good thing the kids get used to that like hey you're gonna you know, he's got a little worse like he's got a little like ocd like as far as like kids walking out you know i just got ocd about like the locker room and stuff like that you sure know, like you know but that's good though yeah no no it's, no it's, he, it's, he's regimented and what he wants and what he what he wants to do and um and, and then when they get to us, like, you know, we, we hopefully, by the time they get to us, they kind of know what the expectations are. Right. It's just for, just the how to act and, and right. whatever. And you've talked about this before. Like, okay, we know that the, that the percentage of, of high school players that come through Venice that are going to play college football and do or is a small percentage. Right. Okay. But the idea is, if you've heard you say before, like, well, heck, if you can be on time for this, you're going to be on time for your job or for college. Oh, yeah. gonna, it's just, it's just. L- learning that that there's consequences and and, and benefits to, to being disciplined and to right. knowing knowing what to do, know where to, how to be there, being accountable for certain things, um, and that's just not on the football field. It is certain things like, hey, get, make sure the locker room looks right, and, you know, do be the, do the right thing, try to be uh, you know respectful. Yeah, and not not only that, we try to you know, I don't just want the kids to like take care of their area. I want the kids to, you know, to be the kid that walks in or the player that walks in and says, oh, there's something on the ground, I'm going to pick it up. Yeah. Oh, this person's shoulder pads fell off the, their locker, I'm going to put it back. Or this person left their cleats out, I'm going to put it back. Right. And that's the same guy that's going to go into work one day and say, you know, and maybe be, and now they see this for me. Now, I don't know how many head coaches do this, but, you know, I, I clean like that. Mm-hmm. I vacuum, I mop, oh, yeah. I, I sweep. Yeah, I spend three hours every Thursday night in the locker room cleaning um, because it doesn't. If I don't do it, it's not getting done. Right, right. You know, so I stay in there. I vacuum. I mop. I, I, I clean the. I clean everything. I move the chairs. Vacuum behind the chairs. So if they see me doing that, and they maybe one day they go to work and they're, maybe they're maybe they're um, starting off being a lawyer. Who knows what they are? Whatever right. they're doing. Right. And and maybe they stay after and say, you know what. This doesn't look right. I'm gonna clean this up, and, sure. and maybe the the whoever the names on the wall sees them like, well, I, I want that guy. He rolls his sleeves up. Right. So I have no problem rolling my sleeves up. I don't think that makes me less as a person. I think it makes me more of a person. Right. And it's it's, um, it's, 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 it's I, I have real life examples of it. I, one of the jobs I had when it was one of my first jobs, you know, we, we didn't have a secretary answering the phone in the office, the sales office I was in. I picked the phone up every time. I, I couldn't I couldn't let her ring three times. Right. And then the guy, the regional manager guy, is like, hey, uh, how can you answer the phone all the time? I'm like, I can't let it ring. You know, who else is going to answer it? Right. Somebody's got to yeah. do it. You know, and it's like, all of a sudden, that, that then, well, who are you? You know, and all of a sudden, that's the, that's the foot in the door to, right. to, to bigger things. And, and you learn that stuff because you learn that, that, that again, your, your accountability, what you expect, your expectations to be as, as high as anything you would. If, if your expectations as a high, tennis high school football player is a state championship, the pinnacle of what you can reach, and it should be the same, same right. things on the next level, where it be in, in life skills, being a parent, whatever it may be. Well, we got three kids right now, the currently in the three different branches of the military that are in the highest they can get. Mm-hmm. You know, we have we have a paratrooper, we have a ranger, and we have um, a seal. A seal, correct. Right. Um, three of them currently right now. So that's that's pretty strong. We have, uh, you know, you know since since two thousand. 12, I want to say. I mean, how many kids have we had in the NFL? We've had Dre, we've had Trey, we've had uh, Forrest, we've had Ty. Ty. 
Jared, Tr Jared you know, five yeah. guys. Breached and Clay, the Clay was there. Clay, Clay was there. got, yeah. got, a, got a, a look, and even Brandon Wilkinson was there at a, on a, at a camp. You know, so um, so they're reaching their pinnacle and in right. the sport. And, and, and that's the thing. It's just you just, and that's the thing. So going back to the whole thing about the, it starts out when you see the structure, you see the situation. You, 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 you know, your coaches are somewhat your they're your supervisors. You know, and if you treat them properly, they treat you properly, and you and you. It's amazing how how th well things work, how things are. There is no sort of uh, hiccup or a mistake, or you know, you're in the wrong place or whatever it may be. It seems to work. You know, it's very orderly. It's it's it, it seems to work. And, and I've always said it's like if you if you watched it from you were just an outsider, like you somebody filming it, you wouldn't you would say no, can't be. You know, football is this chaotic sort of very guttural. You know. Be a kind of sport and whatever it may be, but you watch that and it's almost very cerebral. It's very calm. It's very sort right. of tranquil, and everybody's kind of in their place. And then when it's time to go, they're ready to go. Yeah, the kids. Have, you know, that's one thing I thought that we've been doing a great job in the playoffs is you know just the focus and how the kids have been locked in. I mean, the locker room. You're you're able to see it. You know, the yeah. locker room sure. before the game. Um, I mean, you could hear a pin drop locker room before the game. I mean, it's just. You know, there's there's people talking, but it's like you're talking in a church, and uh, they're just just total locked in. You can see the kids love each other. You know, they're giving each other hugs and high fives, and you know, giving each other encouragement in the locker room. And um, that's that's something that um, you know, that's what we tried to build. And that's the that's the type of atmosphere we want is those kids to be playing for each other. And that's what we talk about. Hey, you guys are playing for each other. You know, we make them. Coach Shannon has done something in pregame, which is pretty cool, is we, we get in two separate lines and we go by, we look each other in the eye, we give us give each other a high five, our low five, and um, just let them know that we're kind of me tonight. A lot of people, you know, talk about the locker rooms situation, not that there's anything to talk about in particular, but you've never been a, you're not the guy screaming and yelling in the locker room. You no. know, you're usually the guy, you know, maybe once in a while or where, it, where it needs it, but you've always been sort of like, you, you sort of present yourself in a very sort of, that same fashion, calm. Hey, let's get this. Let's get figure out the next next thing. And you also see that it's funny because you, if you watch it from, from again from my perspective, the kids are doing the same thing. You can hear them talking with each other, like, "Hey, what right. happened on that play?" Where a lot of times it would be, you don't know what they maybe, they, but they're watching. The, they're, right. they're watching the examples being set. They're, they're looking at. We don't a want you don't problem. you don't want panic. I mean, I mean, there's a time and place for that, and it's usually not going to be on a Friday night. Um, you know, there is a time and place where we need to we need to get on somebody and motivate that way but on Friday night that's probably not the, the best time you know you know yeah. Friday night you want to make too sure late at that point, yeah right? you want to make sure we're playing on our best you want to make sure you're giving them feedback and what can help them not 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 beating them down you know what I mean I, sometimes you know we beat them down we beat them down usually that's in the summer and then we build them back up and we get them right and um, you know the, the, I, I, I can tell you that I mean Every pro everybody on that football team has probably hated me at one time. I can promise you that. But isn't that the way it's supposed to be, though? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, but you, I mean, right now I think they're they're pretty happy. And um, you, you could never be a, an effective leader in some ways where you didn't push somebody hard enough. They thought like, what is this all about? Because you got to sometimes that's how you get to be achieve your best. Is right. that when somebody pushes to the point of like, hey, I, I don't want to go here, and now you, right. then you then you get there, you're like, oh, or I didn't uh, I didn't know I could get here. Correct. Right. And yeah. sometimes sometimes you don't need there's there's the rare folk that would, would be never need that they're self-motivated they're whatever and you know that's that's great when you have somebody like that you know that, that that's another guy that you can look at what he's doing or look at what she's doing right. or whatever it may be but in most cases you don't learn until you kind of get over hurdles right. in your mind and your body and whatever it may be and so those are sort of things that you that you see i mean you've talked about it even this year about you said hey man that this offensive line you mentioned it before like here are these guys and you're like sometimes i wanted to you know i'm ready to kill them and then I realized, no, these guys, they're, 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 they're a team. They're a little bit different, they're, they're, but they're in such, they're in such co co cohesive group. Right. You say, I love these kids now because they look at, look at what they're doing and they've, they've reached, they've reached, the, they've reached the, you know, where they're, they're right. just far away from being where they want to be as far as their goals are concerned. No, so, exactly right. Yeah, no, no doubt. So, again, anyway, a little bit of talk about that. But we want to talk again about how you can get to the game. Ticketmaster. Okay, obviously you can grab the Ticketmaster and buy the tickets. We're going to have links from the, the, the Twitter page from high school coaches Twitter pages are as well and then of course you can go to FHSAA.com that's FHSAA.com which you probably hear me say 
a million times during the games. Yeah, let's try to get everybody there. there, everybody, your neighbors, anybody that lives in the Venice. It's going to be a let's fantastic. Let's get everybody there. It, it, I think the venue itself, I'm really looking forward to this venue. This smaller environment, this 18 seat stadium, yeah. 18,000 seat stadium. It's the DRV. Am I saying it right, Jess? DRV Pink, Pink, stadium. Pink stadium, but it's spelled a little weird. So it'll say it's DRV. D- it's DRV P and K stadium. P and K, yeah. But they think it's supposed to be like a preview yeah. or something. But again, you get there. Um, I think the accessibility is pretty easy as well. I don't think it's like hard to find this place. No. So that's good as well. And so uh, head on down 1 p.m. kickoff, Saturday the 18th. So it's not this week. It's next week. So we're clear on that. And uh, we get a week off to prepare, and we get the Apopka Blue Darters. Uh, in, this, in the 8A state championship. Warren Sapp. Warren Sapp's going to be there, I'm sure. Well, Warren Sapp, and then back in the day, you know, you liked a lot of college football back in the day, but Sammy Smith running back from Florida State. Oh, really? If you watched the Bobby Bowden show back in the day, from Popka. he'd say, oh, Sammy Smith from Apopka, Florida. He likes saying Apopka. And uh, and so you know, Sammy was from Apopka. I remember Apopka Sammy, Sammy Smith. Yep, so he was, like, he, was a, he was a dude. He was played for the Miami Dolphins for a number of years afterwards as well. So yeah. but they, they've had players, there's no doubt about it. Well, we're going to have Trey Burton. Yeah. They're gonna have Warren Sapp. We got we get we got our guys. They're both. They're the funny thing is they're both on the all-time Florida team. Okay, there you go. Trey Absolutely. Burton's a tight end for the all-time Florida team, and Warren Sapp's a D tackle for him. And Warren Sapp started out as a t- he was a tight end at the pop. Wasn't good enough though. Wasn't big enough. Yeah. <laughs> or good enough because Trey Burton. <laughs> exactly. Took a spot. So, but he, yeah. but he, but he always, he always was the guy who fashioned himself. He wanted to catch passes because he thought he wanted to be a tight end, yeah. even after the, after his time with the with the Buccaneers and the Hall of Famer at that as well. So, uh, again, so just again, should be a great great matchup. Um, follow all those games. You know, there's going to be a lot of great games in it. I'm looking the, forward to the uh, to the Gibbons Coco game. Again, two teams we played, yeah. and um, two teams that obviously. I mean, looking back at the schedule, those 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 were the closest games we played, um, you know, in particular. And uh, and uh, I, it's a good matchup because I think you've got uh, is, is, are the styles much different? But I mean, the quarterback for Coco seems to be a guy that can get it around. They had speed on the on the outside. Um, maybe Gibbons a little tougher, maybe a little bigger on the defensive line. I'm not sure. But again, yeah. a great game. I mean, yeah, they're, they're it's, gonna, it's gonna be it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a nice and interesting that's, game. That's Thursday at 7 p.m. Again, and also as well, if you can't make it. I don't. I can't tell you exactly how to. You do better this, be able to make right. it. Let's not even talk about it. Spectrum you can't make Sports it. Is, is, will, will be. It'll be a pay-per-view type setup with Spectrum Sports. There's a link on FHSA.com. It's a 300 bucks. <laughs> it's only 300 bucks if you can't make it. Yeah. So it's. But there's a link. To go to anything you want to know too. If you whatever it may be, FHSAA.com will have all that stuff and all their all their media partners and and whatnot. So you can go see it there. But. Again, uh, should be a fantastic weekend of football down there in Fort Lauderdale. This week, the 1A, 2A, and 3A uh, teams are playing in Tallahassee. I got asked that question as to why they're playing in a separate spot. And only thing I can say for sure is that most of the teams that play in those lower, smaller divisions are from up north. Are from up north. So it's a little, it's fairer for them to kind of not have to go all the way. That would be a question I would answer on Tuesday night podcast. See, we can do that. We can do that. So again, we can always, always do that for you guys. So. Um, next week, you got questions. Uh, get in there. Tuesday night. Tuesday night. Say, so write them all down. Because we are mm-hmm. going to be back here next yep. week. It'll be uh, you know leading up to again the, leading up to the to the, the week final and, the final the final final podcast of the week. So oh actually, it may be, it's going to be on Wednesday next week. Wednesday next week. So we we got so Wednesday of next week will be the podcast. So put that in your calendar as well. It will be Wednesday night, and we're sure we'll put that on Twitter so you can figure out where we are and where we're doing it, Coach. Uh, so again, uh, after a big week, but this is the bow on the. That's this is it. We're not talking about last week anymore. After this, we're no, this is all, all moving forward. All the Popka Blue Darters. That's it, and we're going to focus on that, and hopefully that's uh, where everybody else's mind will be, and we'll be uh, ready to go. So, uh, any more any more parting? Signing words? off. Signing off till next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Wednesday, we'll see you here at Joey D's for our podcast. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a good week, and we'll see you next week here on the. What would be the Wednesday night podcast? Have a good evening.